People in school that smell like shit. They smell so bad you make this face when you walk around them. I'm just gonna name you a few people that smell like shit in school and what the reason it's from. Make sure to leave it in the comments if I forget any single one. Let's go! First, we got the axe users. Motherfuckers in the locker room using axe like it's crack in the 80s. Straight after PE, a musty motherfucker gonna throw this on top of their automatic stench and think it's gonna make them smell good. In reality, it's just gonna make you smell worse. Now you smell like axe with a hint of bounce that ass. Next, we got the cologne spammers. We get it, you got on cologne, but you didn't have to spray it 85 times this morning. We would have smelt it after three. Now that smell is too damn strong, I can't even acknowledge the fact that cologne smell good is too strong. Next, we got the people that smell like a foreign country. As a Muslim myself, I can be completely honest, I've ran across somebody who just smell, you got a strong smell, and it's not a common smell, it's that cultural smell. Next, we got someone so musty it catches you off guard like this. What? So if you don't know, if you don't know that you live under a rock, Bacardi has just posted young boy to his story in an opium chain. And then the jeweler gonna confirm that they have a collab album on the way. Young boy X Cardi collab album? The two most toxic fan bases have just now clicked up. This is Cardi and Young Boy fan bases right now. And Cardi's producer just posted double O Full K Trey. Now there's a few people in shambles right now. Hood motherfuckers in shambles that young boy joined the dark side. And us Uzi fans are in shambles! What you mean Cardi doing a collab album with young boy? Who the fuck asked for that? Before 1629? No. Bro, I dropped to my knees, bro. I almost crashed my car. I was driving! Out of hood motherfuckers gonna be mad. First he painted his nails, now he rocking an inverted cross. Look, man, focus on Diddy and Trey songs. All he doing is not believing in God. Now they wanna do all of this when Uzi just started the pink tape rollout. They had all year to do this, man. I'm listening to pink tape before all that bullshit. So Apple is adding something new and I genuinely don't know how to feel about it. This is the new Apple VR headset that will be able to be used on your phone. You will be able to go through your phone and scroll through your phone with the VR headset. So in your face will be your photos, your apps, your Snapchat, your Instagram. Nah, this sounds like a whole lot of no life activity. How about we actually touch grass? Apple is trying to make us glued to our phone forever. What about when we actually do things in real life? They want your real life to be on your phone pretty much. You will wake up and put on your VR headset and go to every single app you need to use and speak to people through VR. Shit, you could even beat your meat through VR. And this is how you'll look with it on. It is $3,500. $3,500 got me fucked up. Me personally, I think this is the worst thing they could have came out with. They're trying to turn humans into zombies. We just wake up and slave our phones. No, I want to touch grass, my dude. But don't look at me crazy when I have it because I will test the beating your meat feature out with this. This sounds amazing. Alright, so we got the dumbest things that they make us do in school. These things in school make absolutely no sense and I'm glad school about to end because I'm tired of this shit. Let's go. First, we got the worst drill of all time, the tornado drill. So when this tornado drill thing sound plays, everybody's just happy because we don't have to listen to the teacher talk anymore. Then we go put our head on the wall and show our arch to the teacher. Like, we all don't think this little position a little sus? We really head to asses right now showing my crack in the sky? Next, we got packets. Summer break packets and shit. Summer break packets are dumb because I haven't even took the class yet. How am I supposed to answer these questions you asking me to go on Google? But then when I get my answer straight off of Google and can't show my work, I get a zero. Chemistry summer packet got all these dumbass questions. Bro, I speak English, bro. This shit look like Braille. I'm gonna tell Stevie Wonder answer this shit for me. Next, we got group assignments where the teacher picks who you work with. Why you got me working with the motherfucker I ain't spoke to this whole entire year? I don't know this ninja. Shit awkward. So we got countries with the worst food. These are countries that when you visit them, make sure to pack you a 10 piece wing in your suitcase or something. Because when you get there, you're down bad. Let's go. First, let's start with Norway. So someone on Twitter decided to post their Norway place that they ate and say Norway food is greater than everybody else's. Excuse me? This is another plate. It looked like you don't know what a spice is. Bitch, is that a hamster that's dead on the side of your plate? Next, let's talk about the fact that Japan eats tuna eyeballs. 
Tuna eyeballs? Bruh, is that a magic eye? That shit look like it'll possess me if I eat that. Next, we got Iceland, who eats shark meat. Why are they saying y'all marinate y'all shark meat with sand and stones for a few days, then y'all eat it? Next, we got the Philippines. This is Balut. Where they eat duck eggs. They grab the egg straight from the duck, they cook it, then they open it, and then eat the duck right there. In Arizona, they eat fried rattlesnake in Arizona. In Arizona, they eat fried rattlesnake. Rating my viewers taste in music. If you want me to rate your taste in music, follow me on Instagram at Abdulupnext and send me a DM of your playlist. Let's go! Alright, I look at this playlist. Every song on here valid, but I just think Way Too Sexy is too played out in a bad way. Some songs get played out so bad, you start to realize they were trash all along. Super Gremlin is one of those songs where you play over and over again and you realize, oh, he really was on one. You get the ox, though. This is valid. I see Cardi and Yee, and I see Jimmy Cooks. Yes, yeah, I So you want to get on my damn ox and play Lady Gaga and Katy Perry and Justin Bieber? Bro, I'm going to beat you with the ox court like the slave days. This is valid. Wait, why do you have God's plan on here, though? Take God's plan off. You're making me mad. Tyler, Uzi, and Dirk? Ooh, you get the ox. Yeet, Tame Impala, and Outkast. We love a man with some balance. You can get the ox. Alright, so I'm rating my viewers' music taste. If you want me to rate your music taste, follow my Instagram at Next and send me a screenshot of your playlist to be in the video. Last go! Lil Zesty Guy, Just Wanna Cock, Dicko Mode, Old Town Hole, God's Cock? You bump this? This ain't even funny. You get in my car trying to play Dicko Mode. I'm a bop one song, I can't lie. Dicko Mode go hard. Ooh, the baby. That's interesting. But Kendrick, ooh, you kind of got me there. Sometimes basic ass songs hit hard on the ox when it's a lot of people. But if it's me and you, boy, you better show me your taste and not these basic ass songs. Lil Mabu on the same playlist as Kanye West and Tupac. We love to see your brother grow, man. You can get the ox. I'm locked up. I fuck with this, man. I rock with this. You get the ox. Ooh, all Kanye playlists with one J. Cole song? Not enough Kanye, bro. More Kanye than you definitely got the ox. Ooh, miss once! He has no misses right here. School threat? School threat? Question mark? What? Can someone tell me what's happening to the Island Boys? So I see someone say, yo, don't check the Island Boys Twitter. They on some gay shit. Now, I don't care if they on some gay, straight. You know, I'm going to check it because you said don't check it. But I went to their Twitter and I actually seen the most disgusting thing I've seen in my life. Aren't y'all blood brothers? Why are y'all tonguing each other down? So apparently their rap career ain't work out because that song they came out with was one of the worst songs I've seen in my life. And I had people on TikTok telling me, yo, you tripping is low key hard. I almost wanted to block you. So they have officially started up their OnlyFans. Joint brother on brother content, bro. <laughs> Look, man, this is why y'all shouldn't have got all them damn tattoos. Rapping ain't for everybody. Now you have no choice but to make an OnlyFans. What you need to do is remove all them tattoos, go to college, and get you a J-O-B. Get a damn job. Ain't nothing wrong with being gay, but you want Alabama content, man. That's sinister. Double cheeked up grabbing your own brother meat. Uh, Kanye, what the fuck is this, my guy? Can somebody please tell me what his shorty got on her neck? You mean to tell me this how y'all go to the store? <laughs> Imagine you get up and you see these motherfuckers walk into your store. Why they saying this how your shorty look, bro? I can't defend this. <laughs> Are those leggings? Are you showing off the new BBL? Somebody get this big boot Kyle Lowry built us? Kanye got the same energy as my man's Kyle Lowry right here. How I'm supposed to defend football pads, Kanye? <laughs> so the shorty sent me what's going on with Kanye, and I'm over here scaring the hoes. I can't defend it no more, bro. I'm actually losing sleep. They saying Kanye pulled a Tyler. Kim Kardashian left him for Pete Davidson, so my man Kanye went and got with Pete. They back asking dumbass questions again. So the question is, are you taking one dinner with Jay-Z or one week with Ruby Rose? Come on. 
I know it's Pride Month, but y'all gotta chill with the dumbass questions. I'm taking the week with Ruby Rose over any dinner with Jay-Z. Bro said, real men focus on themselves. Invest their time wisely. Dining with him gonna get you wisdom and connections. Just say you gay. If it's about the money, I'ma just catch Ruby Rose lacking, take some feet pics and sell them after. I'm taking that week with Ruby Rose. Talking about some damn dinner with Jay-Z or Ruby Rose. Did y'all see how Ruby Rose looked in the damn picture? I'm going to ask you to look at that picture one more time, then make your choice one more time. After that one week, I'm coming out a different man, and my life probably going to be complete. I can go meet my maker after that for all I care. Fuck that 500. We read in my viewers' confessions. If you want to be in a confession video, follow my Instagram at Abdulupnext and send in my DM a confession. Let's go. I got rock hard, mad brick in my jeans when I met DC the Don. DC the Don, these are your fans, bruh. My guy, he has you as the profile picture too, bruh. I don't know if it's just the music anymore, bruh. Is you supplying the man with D or what? Be my meat in the back seat while my mom was driving. She found... She found what the next day? I ate the pizza backwards. Okay, little wide mouth ass. Okay, big plate cleaner. My boy swallowed a plate. Yes, sir, ski. My girlfriend liked my homie, so I beat him up. I'm still friends with him to this day. But are you friends with that girl, though? You shouldn't be mad at your homie because your homie got sauce. Be mad at your shorty. Control that. When I was five, I beat up an Asian kid because I thought he was the bully from Karate Kid. What is he talking about? I put bleaching glass in my mom's heat protectant spray because she made me mad. Stewie? Are you Stewie? Alright, so we're looking at the worst rap lyrics of all time. What possessed your favorite rapper to say this? Let's go! I bet Lil Nas X will F me if I let him. This isn't Kanye who said this. This is Jack Harlow. This is Eminem that said this one. You heard of Chris Christofferson? Well, I am piss pissed offerson. <laughs> if he get caught, we gonna give him dick. This is how we threaten our ops now? This sound like a Mike Tyson press conference. Rose, I sippity sip it. I'm Quagmire. I F hoes. My cash flow, I giggity giggity get it. <laughs> My guy just bragged about being a perv. Her feet are killing her. I call it suicide. <laughs> no. No. Pregnant females is the best you can get. Effing a girl while her baby sucking the. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Catch me in the attic taking photos of my dad's. The 2023 XXL list is in, and all I have to say is, XXL is a joke after this shit. I never once in my life thought we was gonna get a list worse than the list with DDG and Koi Ray and the list of 2018. But this? Oh yeah, this shit reeks. This stinks, bruh. It's stinking up the place. Like, why are we just adding randoms on here? Like, who ever in their life has sat down and said, turn on that new finesse two times? You gotta go. Bro, I ain't even no freshman, bro. You not in no freshman list. You getting your GED. How do we go from XXX and Playboy Cardi on the same list? But this absolute bullshit. I would have preferred Yeet, Ken Carson, Destroy Lonely, Ice Spice. If we gonna add an old ass motherfucker, might as well put Lucky in there. Central C must be doing this out of pity. Glorilla belongs here too. You know the magazine cooked when they talking about the best AI songs. What the hell? Eminem was right about y'all in 2000. Young Thug's album dropped last night and it will stay on repeat for the rest of my life. So on the intro, we had a beautiful Drake intro. Now, I was confused why another man started his album. But it makes sense because he's in jail. He recorded it on a phone and it got mixed into the track. So it kind of sounded like a little AI right there. People are confused while listening to the Young Thug album. Like, that's not Young Thug's job. We acting like he's not the most experimental person in his lane. Why are you confused listening to this? I'll be honest, only song I really didn't like was the third song, and I kinda gotta let Hellcat Kenny grow on me. But from the fourth to fifteenth song, it's not one miss. This is my favorite track. Motherfuckers like, no gunna, no gunna. Y'all were the same motherfuckers in 2015. No rich homie Quan. Shut the fuck up. This young thug is good. First thing they wanna do is get to comparing it to Gunna's album. Like, can we enjoy both, bruh? Acting like Gunna didn't miss like y'all bumping Born Rich. He even dissed Sweetie on this album. Blacklist finishes strong, I rated a 20. 
Rating my viewers' music taste. If you want me to rate your playlist, all you have to do is follow my Instagram at Abdullah next and send me a screenshot of your playlist. Let's rate my viewers' music taste. Let's go. Oh my God. You can do more than have the ox. Bitch, take it full time, damn it. This playlist is valid too. Alright, we was doing so good. What's up with this Black Air Force playlist? Every single person on here make rob a dude, shoot a dude music. For damn sake, his name is Grind Too Hard OSHA. I'm scared before I even click the song. I'm not getting on no drills with y'all dudes, but we just ride in the car, no. This has some good songs, you get the ox. So you got no Kanye on your playlist, but you got Travis Porter. Yeah, right. Next guy, oh, he got an all young boy playlist. Worst part about it is he got all a young boy in his prime. You gotta switch it up, but damn, this is some good songs. If you look at this playlist closely, she has In My Feelings by Drake on there. Reading my viewers' biggest confessions. If you want to be in a confession video, all you have to do is follow my Instagram at Abdul up next and send a confession to my DM. Let's go! I recorded people vaping in the bathroom and send the video to a Help Lung Snapchat account. Is he still a snitch or is he doing them a favor? I was cleaning my parents' bathroom and found my mom's... Oh. Wait, you said it stunk? Hide my name. I stroked my shit to LeBron. <laughs> oh, whoa. I thought you was just a fan of basketball. My man's real deal really want the la hammer. I tripped the di- Yo. You're dead wrong. One time I filled my brother's toothpaste with lotion and- Evil. This is something that should send you to jail. Is that your brother or your op? Damn. I let the microwave beep all the way in the middle of the night. Now this is real menace to society shit. Me personally, I take my shit out when it's at one. I don't let it beep. Maybe I'm pussy. This is actually just disturbing, though. Pink Tape was amazing. This is Uzi's first solo album in three years. Last time he dropped, I was in 11th grade. COVID hadn't even started yet. And now he's back with Pink Tape. 26 songs, which makes sense because it's been three years. And he came back with like a different style. This don't sound like Eternal to Take at all. The intro is fine. I love the intro, but it's something about the bass of this song that remind me of Cardi. And me personally, I don't like this song. I don't like this song either. The turnt up songs is cool, but what if I just woke up at 7 in the morning? The fuck I'm supposed to play Amped Up? But that's what there's 26 songs for, because it gets a lot better. Dissing a fan page is crazy. My favorite songs is Fire Alarm, Patience, and Mama, I'm Sorry. I'm glad he made it diverse and put some rock songs on here, I ain't gonna lie. I was rocking with The End and I was rocking with CS. Nikki's feature was too damn long, and of all people to be featured on Pink Tape, Nikki, I'll say what I gotta say about it right here. It's not even 4th of July, and these dudes already spamming the fireworks. It's the worst time of the year, y'all. Now, as y'all know, I live in Arkansas, so we got a ton of motherfuckers like this. Now, I'm from the hood, though, bruh, so I'm over here hearing these fireworks like... Y'all sure these not gunshots? It's not even July 4th for y'all busting like that? Shit! I thought we were standing outside of 63rd! I might as well call this Independence Week if I'm being honest. Not Independence Day! Cause they spamming fireworks all week! It sound like it's Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Nuke Town Lobby outside! And y'all know I live in Arkansas! So not only are they outside like this, they outside with this? They for sure outside with this! I thought we were celebrating Independence what are y'all celebrating with this flag? I can't tell what year it feel like in Arkansas today. Goddamn feel like 1865. I'm just finna move to Idaho, bro. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Alright, we got things that people need to stop taking so damn serious. These things turned into life or death and I don't even know how. Why are y'all so damn serious nowadays? Let's go! First, we need to stop taking Instagram so serious. There are girls who post their life to Instagram to they Finsta for 200 followers like it's a designated job every day. Bitch, your Finsta got 10,000 posts. Spend that time to do something better with your life. Like, it should be no reason why everybody know your business, but yet you don't even have a relationship with your family. Work on that! Next, we got school. Now, I get it. Some of y'all gotta go to Harvard and shit. But people with this binder take life way too serious. Like, you not even trying to share me a pencil? I ask you for one piece of answers. You act like you about to go to jail. 
Chill out. Next, we got Zodiac Sons. It should be no reason why I tell Shorty I'm an Aries. She says, ooh, and walks away. The fuck does the time I'm born even mean? I swear I'm a good dude. We can say fuck Gemini, but not Aries, bro. Damn. Alright, we got the most annoying cartoon characters from our childhood. Growing up, I never in my life developed hate for a woman. But the way I hated these cartoon characters, every woman was about to get it. In the comment section, let me know right now if you ever hated one of these characters or which one you do hate. Let's go! Candace, I hate you! Shut the fuck up for once, bruh! Candace almost turned me into a straight misogynist. Fact! Candace had no motion. And instead of getting her own motion, she started snitching. Bitch! This is a lot of you motherfuckers nowadays. Y'all motherfuckers will talk shit knowing y'all be ass. Come into the game, come into real basketball. Don't talk shit just to talk shit. And then gonna come back and get cooked again. Hate this dude. Do you ever shut up? All you do is just cry and complain. Worst character of all time. Don't know how your parents didn't just tape your mouth closed. You dumbass! Do you have parents? Shut What the type of sleeper that you are says about you. Now a lot of motherfuckers when they about to go to sleep, they either turn into a few things. You gotta comment which one you are. I got a problem with all of y'all though, I ain't gonna lie, nobody's safe. Let's go! First we got my genuine least favorite type of sleeper, the sleep talker. Bro, don't sleep over my house if you fighting demons, dude. The fuck wrong with you? You in your sleep and you start talking, you have ruined the sleepover. I'm scared for my life now, I watch too many movies. This motherfucker gonna be dead sleep in my room, then wake up talking about, They're right there, they're right there! Who the fuck is right there? I'm not seeing what you're seeing. Next we got the, oh my god, the loud snores. This motherfucker sleeping, everybody can hear it. Are you hibernating? What are you doing? I don't know why people snore so loud. Is it because you can't breathe? What are you doing to the point where everybody can hear you? <sighs> God dang. Next, we got the motherfucker always moving. They start right here and end right here with their goofy ass. They wake up in a new spot, then they fall asleep every time. If you had to deal with any of these things growing up, I ain't gonna lie, you grew up mad rich. Y'all acting like everybody came from the struggle. Everybody not from the hood, bruh. Somebody gotta be capping. So if you grew up with any of these things, bro, you grew up rich, suburban kid. Let's go. First, we got having your own room your whole life. If you had your own room your entire life, I'm not talking about anybody who is their only child, but if you just simply had your own room, you was like that rich having money. You mean to tell me you never had to share a room at the point of any time in your life? Bro, I remember life starting sharing a room. I had the bunk bed. Next, this deadly combo, having the new phone with the Apple Watch and AirPods. This is ridiculously rich. This is like higher class. This is like, oh, your mama must be a doctor type shit. Next, we got going to your house and you actively have a snack closet looking like a damn gas station in there. Bruh, if I'm being honest, we barely had candy to give out during Halloween. We had to go buy that. You got Halloween at your own expense? That's crazy. If you always have the new shoes, you grew up rich. Alright, we got the most legendary rapper, Mugshots. Look, when a rapper gets a mugshot, what the first thing motherfuckers do? Make it their profile picture. Now, everybody has seen these mugshots, man. You don't even have to want to see them. You just come across them. Let's go! First, let's talk about the damage that this did on the world when X was alive. People like to say X only popular because he dead, but if we being genuinely honest, I think he was the most famous person when he was alive as a rapper, too. This mugshot was everywhere. This is the most iconic mugshot of all time. Now, in a close second, we have this young boy mugshot. What's even crazier, I don't think this is his mugshot, bro. I see academics post this and say this was just a picture of him in jail. But this started the most legendary cult of all time. Let's give young boy fans some damn credit. I think they hilarious. Everybody started popping out with these type of profile pictures and just trolling. Young boy breathes better. Next, we got the Tyler, the Creator mugshot. All I gotta do is look up Tyler the Creator mugshot and then it's memes all over the fucking internet. It's not legendary, but I think it should be. Look at little baby. Alright, we got the worst things that happen to all of us while taking a shit. Now look, some people gonna look at me and be like, TMI, he's too comfortable on this app. But if you're gonna sit here and say this don't happen to you on the toilet, you're capping! <laughs> Tell me which one happened to you. Let's go! First, we got the shit so massive, you gotta take your shirts and pants off. You ever be taking such a crazy shit, you gotta take your shirt off just halftime? Like, this halftime, I'm gonna go back in in a second. 
Next we got when that shit catch up to you before you even get to the toilet. You ever run to the toilet holding your ass just like this? Be honest. To be honest, I didn't even finish my coffee this morning. I told them, hold my cup right here. I'm going to clean it after I take a shit. I ain't going to lie. It caught me in the middle of my drink. Next we got when you finish your shit and you look over and there's no toilet paper. Now you got to use a roller. Call somebody. Now call it somebody embarrassing. So what y'all do? Next we got when that toilet seat is too cold. When that motherfucker hurts. Have you had a shit that hurt? Shit'll have you shedding a tear like this? You know you in the hood when you see some shit like this. If you got any of these things near your house, I'm gonna be the first person to break the news to you. Yo little ghetto ass from the hood. Comment which one you got though. Let's go! First things first, having this little thing tied to the wire at the top of your neighborhood? Fuck it, anywhere near your house, this is ghetto. I ain't gonna cap, I was driving around Atlanta, I seen some damn black air forces tied up to the top power cord. I was like, what? Let me get out of here. Next we got when you walk into your local stores and you start seeing pictures of people stealing on the wall. This is ghetto. What's even worse for me is I pulled up into one of the beauty supplies, looked at the little thing. I saw one of the cool uncles up there. I'm like, damn, unk, what is your ass even doing over here? Next we got randomly seeing weave on the flow. Now this ain't so lady, like you got a female out there walking around there with the struggle cornrow braids. She said, fuck it. You see a we accept EBT sign, you for show in the hood. I mean, I like to see these signs, shit. Stray dogs, I don't rock with that. I can't lie, I'm faux flatten. Random trash on the ground. Alright, we got how to tell if you have strict parents. If you ever felt like your parents were strict in your life, if you do any of these things or if your parent does any of these things, you most likely do have strict parents. Make sure to leave in the comments which one your parents actually do. Let's go! First, we got when you get past a certain age and your mama still want to talk to all of your friends' moms on the phone before you hang with them. Like, let's just be honest. If you pass high school, like, imagine being in 11th grade and you like, my mama got to speak to your mom or I can't go. You look goofy as hell. Next we got when your friends stop inviting you to hang out because they know you can't go. Then you want to sit up here and be mad at me because I ain't invite you. Bro, your parents ain't let you go like two to three times, bro. After that, you just don't get an invite no more. Next we got when your parents don't even let you pierce your ears. I'm a whole grown ass man. I still don't got my ears pierced. Some people don't even bother to ask because it's no way in the world their parents gonna say yes. Next we got when you get past a certain age and your parents still take your phone. Imagine being in 11th grade saying your phone got taken. Alright, so we're doing, if you're wearing any of these shirts, you gotta go, you gotta go, you got to go, you feel me, I ain't gonna lie, I really hope you go to a uniform school, because if you're walking into school with any of these shirts, you gonna get bullied, it's embarrassing, it's sinister at this point, let's go, first we got this shirt, you just an annoying ass motherfucker and I don't even know you, you automatically seem like the person that's cracking jokes in class and ain't nobody laughing at this dude, I paused my game to be here, shut your ass up, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Honestly, anybody with this shirt, I tell you now, their breath most likely stink. Their breath is hot from sitting on the game all day, not touching grass, and not walking outside. I know a lot of youngins got this shirt. I ain't talking about the youngins. I'm talking about these damn school threats in the back of the class that don't want nobody to talk to them. They hate their lying. This is just embarrassing. I'm gonna tell you now, you're gonna get bullied. TikTok queen. I go to your TikTok whole time as you doing some dusty ass TikTok dances and you cringing me out. You get no bitches. Alright, so we got stores with the worst service, you feel me? Pretty much I'm saying these stores are too black. Y'all need to hire more white people. I'm just gonna be honest, bruh. I'm seeing too many Jaquaviuses and I'm not seeing too many Emilys. That's just a fact. Let's go! Bruh, why in 2023 is Popeyes so damn ghetto? It should be no reason why I'm in the Popeyes drive-thru and the dude calling me Lil Bruh! He like, hey Lil Bruh, we don't got spicy. I just told your ass that I don't even know you! Bro, if you go to Walmart, you ever realize if you go up to somebody at Walmart and ask them, where is this? They don't know. I'm over here trying to get club soda for auntie. I had to ask them four times. Bro, where the fuck the club soda? Bro, how you don't know? You work here. You've been working here. They almost getting mad that you asking them where some at. Like I'm supposed to know. Oh, I look stupid for asking where the baby whites. Oh, I don't work here every day, dumbass. If you're an ugly motherfucker, this should be a rule. If you're an ugly motherfucker, you can't be a waiter. You're Nails dirty and long, bruh! Alright, so we got the worst hairstyles any human being can have. 
If you got any of these haircuts, go ahead, restart, get you a nice little clean bean, and grow it out the right way, because you tweaking. Let's go. I never understood this hairstyle. Why do you just grow a bush in the back? You have waves. What's the mullet for? Like, what do y'all do? Do y'all pick it out in the back every morning? Do y'all cover the back with the do-rag, too? What? What? Don't make me mad. It's 2023, my boy out here looking like the Jackson 5. Throw the damn pick away. This hairstyle goofy in 2023. Get that mushroom off the top of your dome. <laughs> Bruh. The bowl cut is by far the worst hairstyle of all time. Don't ask why you getting bullied in school when you got this shit as your cut. The palm tree is ridiculous. Imagine you get a haircut and your own barber trolling you. Your barber put the little palm tree next to your dome. These stiff ass tree branches coming out of your head is ridiculous. <laughs> bruh, the flat top, bruh, make that shit nappy or something. Alright, so we got rappers that survived being shot. We done lost a lot of our favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying, to gun violence. But just imagine, we almost lost these rappers too. Man, I would be in a mental facility, man. Let's go. First, we got Young Thug. Man, Young Thug said he was popular in the hood for being one of the first youngins to get shot. No comment. All I know is they better free my goat, bro. Next, we got Future. He didn't really give too many details. He just said it was on the streets, and I think it had to do with serving or something. You know he was serving his auntie that raw. You heard him. Next, we got 21 Savage, where it was on his birthday, bro. Three Atlanta legends right here we could have lost, man. I would have been crying. Next, we got Lil Wayne. Everyone should know by now, Lil Wayne tried to commit SUI, you know, at a young age, bro. And a police officer saved his life. Thank you, because you helped save one of the greatest rappers alive, besides Jay-Z and Kendrick. Of course, we got 50 Cent. We all know. Of course, we got Lil TJ. We all know. Can't forget French Montana. All right, we got the hardest classes to be taking in school. For all the people who already, you know what I'm saying, if you out of school, if you on summer break, comment the class in school that gave you the hardest time. You thought you was going to fail. These three right here are confirmed facts. You taking these classes, bro, you better lock in. You can't slack. You going to fail if you slack. Let's First, we got English. I never in my life thought I would be failing the language. I know I speak it. How I fail the language I speak. You get to the class and English teachers, bro, they have a kink of having, uh, being a bitch, man. They be assholes. And they got me writing essays every week about some bullshit I don't even know, nor do I care about. Write an essay five, five paragraphs on Paul Revere? Paul Revere? Who the fuck is that dude? I don't know him. Next, we got math. As soon as they started doing all of this division and application in the same sentence, what's this called? Application? Addition? Whatever. Then they added letters. I'm like, man, fuck it. Chemistry is math part two. They got me showing work on science problems. You can't call anyone sus if you out here doing these things. I'm sure we all got homies who hear gay jokes and then act so crazy like you don't be doing these things. You sus too. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Let's go. First, we got sitting down when you pee. Now, this is a fact. Being gay is not even one of the gayest things you can do. Because sitting down when you pee is crazy. Using bug spray to kill a bug is just insane behavior. If you don't grab a little flip-flop and get to jump in to kill that motherfucking bug, let me guess, you flinched. Oh my god, it's a bug. Then grab the spray, you pussy. Staying mad at the homie longer than 24 hours is pussy. When you mad at your day one homie, you really can't even be mad at them longer than just one night. They could have said the most fucked up shit, but you the homie though, so you slide. Putting your phone in your back pocket is pussy. You better not act homophobic, cause look at this. Alright, so we got the nastiest snacks. I'm sure that not everybody's gonna agree with me, but we all got those snacks that we think aren't that good that other people like. Comment those. If you eat these, I'm not gonna lie. You have the same taste buds as a hungry animal that ain't ate in seven days. Let's go. All right, I ain't gonna lie. I think these are mid. And of course, there's gonna be somebody who don't agree with me, but that same person know damn well this is the last chip that leaves this snack mix box. They know damn well if they got 28 bags, they're gonna eat all 25 and leave these three left. Next, we got Whoppers. I shouldn't have to explain why these hard balls are anything. I slap the fuck out you. You know damn well these are nasty. Like, why would I want to chew on chocolate balls that are hard? Not even chewy balls, hard balls. You know something else that make me mad? People that like candy corn. 
I googled candy corn, they got a person with a smiley face up there like, I'm gonna slap this dude, bro, this shit nasty. Everybody don't gotta agree with me, but Twizzlers is nasty, if you agree, let me know, though. Rappers that declined being a part of XXL's freshman list. Comment what year has the best XXL list, and you can't say 2016. We all know it's been getting worse over the years, and these are a few people who declined being part of the list. Let's go! First, we got Young Thug, who was supposed to be a part of the 2014 XXL freshman list. He originally agreed to join the XXL freshman list, but ended up calling out the day before. People were saying it's because he couldn't freestyle. I think that's cap. Next, we got Don Tolliver in 2020. He was supposed to be a part of this list. This is a pretty solid double XL list, but they said if he doesn't freestyle, he can't be a part of the list. He agreed to be on it, but he just ain't agreed to freestyle. Next, we got Juice World. Juice World declined in 2019 to be a part of the double XL list, and he said that's just the best idea for his career, the best move to make. We all can agree that Juice World's freestyle would have been better than Lil Mosey's, though. That's facts. Ice Spice, who declined to be a part of this one because her schedule was busy. We needed Ice Spice. I ain't gonna. If you like these foods on this list, I am taking your pass. You can't say the N-word. You got no brother soul in your body. You are no longer allowed to say the word. We're going to give it to somebody that deserves it. Like Eminem. Let's go. If you like freaking caviar, you get to go. I'm not trying to say everything on this list is trash, but just imagine you trying to go get some chicken wings and your homie say, let's stop for some caviar instead. Bro, bring the chicken wings, bro. Cauliflower, I'm tired of you dumbasses. How are you gonna be in a group with all of the homies and suggest us to eat some cauliflower right now? You for sure scaring the hoes if you ask them to go on a date and get some cauliflower. That girl just wanted 10 piece wings, bruh. If you don't have a seasoning closet in your house, you can't say the N word. And not only do you not have a seasoning closet, but it has to be unorganized. That's how you know if it got some soul in there. If they shit look like this, dip. Don't you dare ask me to stop and get some asparagus, bruh. I'ma asparagusly slap your ass. Raisin bread. How long you spend in the shower says about you. A lot of y'all is real deal dirty, bruh. And this is the time y'all get exposed. In the comment section, comment how long you be spending in the shower. And don't be lying, bruh. Let's go. If you spent five minutes in the shower, turn around and get back in. What could you have possibly been cleaning in that shower for five minutes? You still smell. Spending five minutes in the shower, that means you didn't use soap. You just got your body wet and walked out. You gotta go. Ten minutes, you still a little dirty. There's just a little bit of delusion to this if you think you can clean yourself in 10 minutes. You just had practice for your football team for two hours long. Your basketball practice is two hours, and all of that sweat is going to go off in 10 minutes? Oh, yeah, we're both a little bit confused here. You're dirty. This is the perfect time. You're clean. You just listen to four songs while you in the shower. You get in and out. Now you're taking too long. Get the hell out the bathroom. You been in too long if your fingers look like this. Alright, so we got rappers that decline being a part of the freshman list. We all see double XL. It's so damn weak. There had to be some people who declined before. Because no way y'all chose these people. So here are a few people who declined in the past. Let's go. So in 2022, Ken Carson said there is no way he's doing double XL without Destroy Lonely. Now this was before No Stylist by Destroy Lonely was out and y'all didn't see the vision. Now imagine if last year Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson was on this list. Would have been a fire list. Next, in 2018, we got four superstars who technically were declined. 6 9 NBA Youngboy, and Famous Dex weren't allowed on the XXL list due to their allegations of women. Lil Skies denied the 10th spot in XXL 2018 because he said it was fake and they didn't even get a chance to vote for him yet, but he made it. They said Rich the Kid can be the replacement, but Rich the Kid declined being a replacement. Tory Lanez and Post Malone declined being a part of the 2016 list. If you're from any of these states, you gotta go. It might be 50 states in America, but realistically, people only live in like six of these motherfuckers, though. Comment where you from. Just don't say no goofy shit like Alaska. Let's go. First, we got Oregon. Only thing to do in Oregon is to smoke crack. How do you say, yo, I'm repping Oregon? 
repping Oregon. I ain't never seen that before. People don't live here. Just the crack addicts. You gotta go. Now we got Wyoming. Now, you see, there's a lot of irrelevant states here. North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana. Do you know how irrelevant Wyoming is? When people mention irrelevant states, they say North Dakota, they say South Dakota. Nobody mentions Wyoming ever. Next, we got Rhode Island. Rhode Island doesn't even have a basketball team. Imagine a dude threatens you online and says, I'm going to get my shooters out of Rhode Island on you. Sometimes I even forget Rhode Island is even a part of the 50 states. Like, that's a fucking state. People go there. Things that will get you blocked. Anybody that does these things on the net is just corny, goofy. You get it, go. I speak for everyone when I say you will get blocked doing these things. Let's go. First, we got sending me some goofy ass put me on your Snapchat. Especially a goofy ass dude doing a light skin face talking about put me on your Snapchat is sent to all. Every week you talking about some put me on your Snapchat, you fucking thirsty ass light skin piece of shit. Next, we got sending me streaks and we don't got a streak. Why do y'all send random people you add black screens with a red S? Post in 1111 like you six or some shit. This is the fastest way to get sent to the group chat and blocked. The second y'all step in the driver's seat of y'all mama car, y'all talking about who can I scoop? What's the move with the driver's seat? Well, you gotta bring your mama car back. She sent you to the store to get some milk. Y'all be posting these quotes of NBA Youngboy talking about some this year taught me so much. Youngboy never said that though. Don't send me no chain message. Send it 10 people. God's watch. What the time you wake up says about you. Comment what time you wake up on like a weekend, weekday. It's summer. It's summer. It don't matter. Comment what time you wake up. Let's go. Goofy. Try hard. The fuck you waking up at 8 a.m. for? You are absolutely doing too much. Are you still on school time? You the type motherfucker to start the summer packet two weeks after school just ended. Damn. All right. This is a normal time. Real ones wake up at this time and just might just go back to sleep since it's not like I'm finna be doing shit. Might as well get some rest. If you waking up at 11 to 12, you have to get your lazy ass up and do something today. By the way, I meant to say noon. So if you wake up at 11 to 12, congratulations, you not a total dickhead. Goofy. If you wake up at 1, your walk downstairs to get some breakfast better be the walk of shame. Yo little lazy hibernating ass, game playing ass, Discord VC call all night doing ass. No life having ass, sit in the house all day ass. Waking up in the afternoon is a sign of depression. Speak to somebody about your problem.